Hello Poopsies, thank you very much for joining me today on this 30 minute Reiki healing session and 30 minute tarot reading session in one hour long healing and reading session. This is a booking by Ines, thank you Ines for giving me permission to post this because what they did was they signed up for an hour-long ASMR. Typically, if you sign up for an ASMR booking on TonyBomboni.com, links below in the description fold. I'm going to ask you for permission if I can post it public. So they thought to do a tarot reading and a Reiki healing. So they, instead of booking like a 30-minute tarot, a 30-minute Reiki, they did one-hour ASMR, but they typed in the message to do either a tarot or a Reiki. But to me, I'm like, why can't I do both? It sounded like to me in my mind, like, I think intuitively I should do both a tarot and a Reiki instead of just one hour Reiki, because honestly, um, I can do an hour tarot reading, but an hour long Reiki healing, oof, there's only so much I can do, you know, or say, you know, I don't, I've never stretched it that long. So, um, yeah. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Reiki healing. So this is for not only Inez, but of course, you guys watching at home as well, the collective. So this is the doll that I'm going to be doing the energy work on today. I picked a neutral doll that works with all genders, of course, since this is for everyone too. Um, that's how I do it. Um, if someone gives me permission, normally I don't post tarot readings or Reiki healings on my channel, but once in a blue moon, I will do something like this if someone really feels called or led to have their session shared. And that's very generous. And I thank you for that. And thank you, Ness, for giving me permission again. So I picked four cards here. So they, they have no questions. They have nothing. They don't even, they didn't even ask for like a general. Or, so I'm going to read the message back just to clarify their energy here today with me. Hi, Tony. I've, lived, I've loved all my ASMR readings and Reiki sessions so far, so wanted to request another reading or Reiki, whatever you're vibing most. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and wishing you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you and and everyone else watching at home as well. Thank you. So thank you for that. So yeah, you see, there's nothing specifically I'm looking for or healing. We're just going to do what vibes. So we have three of wands. The Nine of Cups. I'm using these tarot cards currently because my other ones are charging. They kept falling on me. Things keep falling today. Crystals and everything. I'm just like, some things... Anyway, I just... I'm going to charge um, those cards and crystals soon. But um, yes, Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, and then we have the Moon card. Um, so I'm getting here that there's kind of a separation or a divide. It's like you're separating yourself uh, from some group of people. It's like you're just self-isolating right now. You don't feel like the love, you don't feel the support, you feel left out, you feel like you're not invited or, you know, anytime someone invites you somewhere, you feel like you're getting dragged there to that location and you don't necessarily want to go to that event or that party or whatever, that gathering, that group, you know, and exchange verbal cues and just like, it's just too much for you right now. And I think not really sort of the focus you're dwelling on. Or I know your mind is elsewhere. Maybe it looks like through your eyes. You ever see that look in someone's eyes? Like they're not fully there. And it's like, um, they just kind of look like they're not, they're not fully there. You know, um, that's kind of where you're at right now. You just have that gaze. You're just kind of like distant or not present, right? And it's a choice. You're not choosing to be right now um, because you want to protect your energy. Or you've been through too much. You've been hurt, okay? And you don't want to keep dodging metaphorical bullets, right? You, you want to um, go down a more peaceful path, even if it means less people in your circle. 
And sometimes that's the answer, although it sucks to do things alone. Sometimes you gotta, honey, you know? That's just how life works. It's how things flow. Sorry, but I forgot to open the timer on my phone. That's how I know how long these sessions go. I have to pace myself, you know? Um, so yeah, let's see what we see, all right? Um, I picked 10 stones today that really intuitively drew me in, okay? I really took my time to really connect with these, and I picked a lot of heart stones. So let's begin. Morganite, Kunzite, Radicrosite, Green Aventurin, Malachite, and Lava Stone. Merlinite, Axonite, Northosite, and Shungite. Okay. All right. So quite a unique array of stones. What, what a combination. But I'm going to do this now. I'm going to, as always, right their um, personal information down starting with their name i will not show that for obvious reasons so i will um use this doll as um my blockade to cover personal private information And as always, if you book a Reiki with me, this is exactly how it looks. Everyone gets their own unique custom session. I'm going to write their email address and phone number that they submitted. By no means do I need any of this info. People always put it down anyway, though. It's, I guess, helps channel your energy more. So they booked the Thursday time slot. I'm getting this done way sooner. Um, oh, you booked the winter solstice, huh? Powerful energies. Alrighty. So we're going to do a general um, Reiki's healing, of course. So I'm going to write that down. And I'm going to write collective too. All right, so universe knows exactly that we're doing this for the collective, which they already know. <laughs> All righty, so. Yes, there we have it. So I'm going to fold this up two ways. Healing symbols now. I'm getting this Reiki healing session on Inez and others calling upon the universe, Reiki masters, spirit guides, and look at the ancestors. Any positive influences, energies, and forces to enable me to do this session, getting a felt sense of vibe of their energy field, allowing the energy to go through this YouTube video. So anytime they watch it back, they may continue receiving these benefits. I have a glass of water near you. Make sure that you do breathe deeply through this time, okay? All right. My squeaky butt chair. <laughs> My farty chair. Sorry. <laughs> I always say I'm going to replace it. I never do. <laughs> so, um, here we have it. Yes. Alrighty. So, so, taking a time to ground myself, a moment to connect, really. 
warm my hands, charge up the energy. Set a good attention for healing to come through whatever we need to heal today. beginning. Relax, receive, breathe, trust in the process, have faith this works for you and it will. Make sure you eat a light, healthy meal after to help ground you and get plenty of rest, okay? All right, align the energy, the cards, and the path. Let's go up into the doll as you know, and others here in front of me today, getting a collective felt sense of their energy fields. Give me a moment to brush this. this. Thank you. By the way, I wanted to clarify, Inez gave me permission in a separate email. Not what I read, not the message I read. Okay, I just want to clarify if anyone was confused about that. It's windy outside too, sorry about the noise. Just relax. I feel like you just need to relax. You just need to breathe right now. Breathe through it. Breathe through the belly in and out, in and out at your own pace. There's divine timing and then there's your timing. Breathe in your own time too. You don't have to breathe like anyone else. Just breathe. That's why those exercises where people say take a deep breath in and follow my breath never work in the long run. Follow your own harmonious breath. Don't follow someone else's harmony. Follow your own inner workings. And I think maybe that's the first message perhaps today. Trust your voice. Trust that inner silence. What is that really trying to tell you? That inner standing. Yes, I said inner standing. It's like understanding, but inner. Because under has a demeaning tone to it. It's like under, like you're under that. You're under, you're standing under it. Like, you know, it's like you're less than, you know. A lot of language and linguistics in English are very negative, And that's intentionally so, to lower our vibration. So it's time to elevate above that and change our language. Change how we communicate with other people. How we express ourselves. Sometimes it's very stagnant, you know. And you ever notice someone how they talk and they talk like this with their hands and that's more like flowy that's moving with the dance of the communication and that helps others understand more rather than someone just sitting there talking like this so don't be afraid to be yourself and your unique identity even if you look italian just just talk like this okay <laughs> if it makes sense to you if it if it resonates with you Many people talk like that, not just Italians, obviously, but it's a popular saying, like, oh, Italians talk with their hands. Well, a lot of people do, not just, you know, like, so, yeah, um, there's that. So be you, I guess, is the message. Don't be afraid to be you and to shine, to glow. And I think that's really is like, don't be afraid to shine your light. Don't be afraid to be there for others. To so just be you. And be thankful for being you. Be thankful you're your one unique identity. So I'm going to be silent while I just let you resonate with these messages. Whatever else flows in your mind, even if nothing at all, let your mind wander. Or let it stay in the beautiful silence and stillness. Because sometimes you watch these, you don't even need a healing, you just want to chill. So... Your mind will probably just be blank. That's fine. Enjoy it. Enjoy the blankness as long as you imagine 
Because this is not only you believing this works. Use your imagination to actually envision and receive and see the healing as well. And this is why I'm one of the only ones, Reiki healers and tarot readers, who film, readers in general, who film the sessions. I want you to practice along. I don't want you to just, you know, a regular Reiki healing and distant, they're just going to tell you to lie there and wait for their email. Yeah, um, good luck feeling anything, if anything, you know. I want you to work with me and to see this and feel it, okay? Yes, yeah, I'm still validating that you do feel something with a regular Reiki, even if you don't see it, but I want you to see it for those who don't, who are not as sensitive to energies and frequencies, okay? This is why these recorded sessions are so important, and, you know, I'm one of the only ones that does it, honestly, and bothers giving the time to do it, to put these videos together for you guys um, in your bookings to send them to you, you know, rather than just calling you or just, you know, a one-off, you know, where you don't remember anything. So and this is why people come back again, because they know, they know how valuable these are, and I really appreciate it. So I say that to say thank you as well, as you are thankful for receiving this energy and being you, your unique you. I thank you for allowing me to be my unique me to do these sessions. Otherwise, we can't do this. We cannot make it possible. It works both ways. I need you. You need me, right? So just, I, I almost want to like just admire this energy exchange, even collectively. Like this is what this is about to me. It just feels like just admiration, gratitude of just being here today and receiving this good energy and it, uh, it's almost like I feel others other people hands sending energy to this video through this video breaking the walls of the space-time continuum and it's like I'm seeing you now in the future in a, a day or two sending the healing through this video as I'm doing this a day or two ago in the past from when you're watching this like I'm already seeing you in the spirit in the future if that makes sense I, I do connect with those energies too and that does exist because there's no such thing as time because everything's now, obviously. So yeah, let this connect and sink into you and allow your connection to the universe to make sense and resonate because sometimes when we have issues, we are not in harmony with this um, universe. Sometimes we just are out of harmony and we need to, that's why people report like, oh, I drove down a mountain for 20 minutes and it kept looping and repeating. Well, <laughs> Something took you out of harmony with the current path or trajectory. So those unexplained phenomena and mysteries, yeah, that's why. You just took yourself out of the dimension briefly and you went back in. And sometimes we get there through this work, you know. Things in my home will get triggered, alarms or random crap, you know, lights. That's the work. I'm not afraid of it. I, I never was because I knew is just dimensional shift, which is moving time. So I feel like intuitively to say almost like we're moving time right now. Like we're moving time to advance in your favor. And may time advance in your favor. May you be in the right place, the right space, the right dimension, the right timing in general for what you need to do. Whether it's that job you're seeking to get, that lover you're, you know, hoping to bump into, <laughs> or that crush, I mean, that you're hoping to bump into in the grocery store, right? You know what I'm saying? perfect timing and you won't bump into them until you two are both um vibrating on the same plane on the same page the same frequency and that's how you meet souls like this so may you meet that one that makes you happy makes your heart flicker a little bring that butterfly that good feeling in your stomach all right, so we sent a bunch of blessings and intentions your way. So I'm going to go ahead and supercharge these stones now on you. Yeah, I already ordered them in the right order. Yeah, I was like, wait, why are they already in order? I'm like, oh, I already did them in the right order. Okay, that's good. So I prepared in advance. <laughs> All right, so, um, well, not really, but close enough. I don't know why this one's out of order. Oh yeah, that's because I switched it while I was talking to you guys about the crystals. <laughs> anyway, laugh out loud. Uh, okay, so moving on. All right, so there we have it. I haven't put 
the stones on you and we're going to go ahead and send you more love, more light, more charged energy. This might be a little longer than an hour because again, always when someone gives me permission, I have a little extra seasoning for you. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. And by the way, I forgot to mention, sorry to interrupt, briefly I forgot, I'm so sorry. All week long, until the 23rd of December, I have a coupon code TONY25 for 25% off all my services, unlimited use for Christmas. So Merry Christmas, there's your gift from me to you. Thank you. All right, I sent to the newsletter about it, so you missed it if you didn't sign up for my newsletter. Okay, let's continue. Sometimes I like these little pauses in between because it's too much to send too much energy at once anyway, so I like to do like a little, um, what do you call it when you go to a movie theater and they have the intermission, right? I think that's what it's called. And you have like a 15 minute break. Yeah, so I like having that for this too. All right, but break's over, okay? <laughs> so let's continue and let whatever thoughts flow in your mind I'll give you some more time to do that I think that's very important silence is important because we're so uncomfortable with silence with stillness we don't like our mind and what it produces but let's learn to love all parts of ourselves and stop ignoring ourself we don't have to work all the time to drown those thoughts. We don't have to do anything all the time. Whatever we're using as a stimulant to drown our mind from thinking. It's okay to suffer sometimes. Life itself is suffering. You are only suffering by continuing your suffering. You're just prolonging your suffering by numbing and coating the suffering. You know, it, it, it doesn't work. It never works. It leads to more issues in the long run. So just let go. Allow yourself to think and to be. I'll give you a moment. sending you the best energies possible. I love doing these on good days. I'm having a decent day, so I'm feeling great. So just sending you as much of that love back as possible that you've given to me. You've blessed me today. I really thought of that. I'm like, wow, I feel really blessed. I've been blessed. You guys bless so much. I, I'm, I'm always doing the best I can to send those blessings back. But I know I can't receive blessings if I didn't do the work to send it first, you know? So that's where you're at. What are you blessing yourself with today? Maybe you're not. Maybe you feel like you haven't blessed others enough. Bless them. In whatever way that looks like. Prayer. Giving money. Giving your time. Giving advice. Giving just a hug. It's okay. Watching someone's dog for free. Why do we need payment? You know, someone brought up earlier to me. Actually, now that this actually resonates, it's funny. Um, to make a long story short, they were asking about a hobby or something about someone I know. And they asked me if they got payment for those hobbies and passions. And I said, no. And I almost said, and? Is there something wrong with having something you enjoy? Does it have to make money every time? No. Why does everything have to make money? Why is everything all of a sudden about that? You know? So my point being is just do what you enjoy without worrying about whether it's producing a blessing or something. Give. Be blessing anyway without worrying about wondering about is this going to bless me back? That's not what it's about. And if you do it that way, Honey, you're not going to get the blessing, or at least you're going to get a very small amount of blessing back. And maybe you'll get a blessing back, but why is the intention there only to receive the blessing? Think about it. Oh, 
So this is how I channel with this work. I just let whatever flows. It's almost like doing a tarot reading, except I have just crystals here. My eyes are closed and my hands are sticking out. <laughs> That's the only difference. Everything's channeling. All of my services are channeling. Yes, even the custom ASMR. I always channel. I always say something in ASMR. People always say in the comments every time, every video, what you said just resonated with what I'm going through. I'm always channeling. That's what I do. That's what all... The, at this point, that's all I know what to do. Okay? That's my job. I'm dedicated to you guys. And I see you. I see all of you here in front of me today. And others see others. All of you are channelers too. We just forgot. Everyone has this in them. Some more open, some more receptive, some more trained and practiced. Mine is because it's like a muscle. You train that third eye, you work it out, you're going to get stronger and build it more. All right? So let's tap into that and train whatever you need to train within you. Your heart, your root chakra, your third eye, whatever. Everyone has something different to train and we're going to set the intention to train it to activate it within you so that you can use this gift, this God-given gift, this divine right of yours to use your talents and abilities. So if you're waiting to go on that stage, honey, go. Who's going to judge you? You only judge yourself. You know why? Because even if someone judges you, you just judge that person by saying they judged me. You made a judgment about that person. When sometimes they're not even judging, they're just having a bad day. And it's not even about you. So let's clear that away, which is not about you. And let's resonate with what is about you. And it's not about you. That's the funny part. It's not about me or you. Everything is one. And when we let go of our identity, we realize we're just consciousness. We identify as consciousness. That's the ultimate gender. Because we are. We just simply forgot. So connect back home and let this resonate with you. I would close off with some wonderful selenite one healing. I actually just meditated with this two days ago. I was thinking, I'm like, wow, this is more powerful than the Harry Potter one. And I kid you not, not to boast, but this is powerful. I've had this for almost 10 years. So powerful. It's been through so many sessions. A lot of illness in the body just begins from sacks of negative energy that build up, like a fluid build up, and it just sticks around because it just, you know, is. Let's clear that away now. Ask it to shift. Transmute any negativity, any hard feelings, anything resentment you're holding on to. Release it. Let it go. Don't hold on to that anymore. I feel like some of you, someone didn't let you go somewhere. They said no or they didn't recommend it, but you wanted. Your heart said yes. They said no. And you remain stuck. Forgive that person anyway. They didn't know better. They didn't know what you felt, what you've been through. They believed another lie, just like anyone else. Just let it go, wash it away. Ask for forgiveness over yourself, meaning set the intention that you'll be loving, you'll be kind, you'll be easy to forgive others, including yourself. That's all ask for forgiveness means. It takes work though. It doesn't just take one magical, I'm gonna ask for forgiveness. We have to train ourselves to constantly Remind ourself, it's a muscle, it's a practice to easily let go and forgive. There's no magical formula or solution. There's no oil you rub on yourself to make it better, honey. We have to do the work. This is how we heal and heal other people.
Thank you. God bless. Love and light. I want a final blast of energy and then I'm complete. Thank you, God, Reiki, Master, Spirit, Guides, Mother, the Gata, Ancestors, and any positive influences, energy, and forces to allow you to do the session of today. Honey, Naz, and others, the session is now officially complete. Can I use the crystals? I'll email Ines, these stones. Shungite, Northasite, Axonite, Merlinite, Lava Stone, Malachite, Green Aventurin, Rod Cross Site, Morganite, Kunzite. All right, and Inez, you use that 20% Tony 2, or if you use it this week, Tony 25 or 25% off. Thank you, God bless, love and light. Thank you for booking. Thank you for allowing me to share this blessings with others. Thank you, others, for watching. All right, we're going to dig into the tarot now. I'm just going to go ahead and put this together so I can take a picture of it for Inez and send it to her email later. And I'm going to go ahead and decorate this by the window for the next two days to charge. So Reiki may be able to continue sending your way while we are away. Thank you for allowing me to help out today and send you this Reiki. And thank you for booking. Okay. And remember, you are. Sometimes there's nothing to remember. Just be. You don't have to remember anything. I like to end on remember, remember. But then it's like, you know, all of a sudden I'm reminded. Remember what? What is there do I have to remember that I have to remember? Maybe I just can enjoy this session for once. And another time I can watch this back and enjoy it. Because this is why I record these again for you to watch it back. It's not meant for you to watch once. Enjoy. Enjoy it to the fullest. Pick the fruits from this abundant tree of healing. And receive it. Because on this day, this healing will look and feel and be different than if you watch this back three weeks from now. Does that make sense? So enjoy. Alrighty, that concludes the session. Picture time. There we are. That's for Inez later. Thank you so much. Alrighty, so let's continue. I'll leave the candle on so I can go ahead and perform this tarot reading now. Um, I'm honestly just going to put this aside for now and do the reading. I'll put it by the window later rather than just cutting this off so abruptly. Um, I never put the cards on, but that's just for decorative purposes. But um, Yeah. So. I'll leave it charging there for now while we're performing this tarot reading. Just remember, this is a tarot and a Reiki in one. Thank you, doll, for doing the work you did today for us already. So, I'm actually going to work with these cards first because my other ones are still... I'm going to give them a little more time to charge and I'll get back to them. But since Inez did not have a question for me either, we're going to do a general reading for Inez and for everyone else. Let's tap in and connect. Any advice, guidance, messages are always welcome and greatly appreciated at this time. Anything else we need to know that we haven't even seen in this Reiki? I'm open to receiving and channeling anything that anyone watching at home right now or wherever they are in the world. May they feel at home. May they feel welcome and receptive to understanding my messages today. And these are not my messages. They're just channeled messages. But what do I have to say about what I sense? Let's connect. being one entity with everything even saying I what do I have to say no it's not me what does everything have to say 
but it would sound weird saying that, right? Like imagine you're working at a bank and you're like, how may everything help you today? Like, yeah, good luck keeping that job, right? We still have to have an identity, unfortunately, but that's just how things are. So, But having an awareness that you're not just you and it's not about you, it's powerful. We let go and we just give in. And that can be overwhelming to some, but to others it may be the peace you're looking for today. Remember, you can always request my personal readings and sessions, bookings, etc. to be done in ASMR. All right. Oh, okay. I don't know why I cut off the timer again. Silly me. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, my God. I'm feeling a sense of relief today because my uh, fire alarms have been replaced. I figured out a solution and then... Also, my security system, so I'm good. I'm like, finally, like, I, I, I touched up the water stains from the hurricane with some paint, finally got to that. I'm like, oh, I'm finally done. Like, everything's taken care of in this house. Finally. Every issue that's been on my mind. And then now I have other appointments to take care of uh, for my eyes. Thank you for asking. My eyes, I think, are getting slowly better. It's just... I wasn't wearing my contacts long enough, you see. So people have been worried asking about that. And so now that I'm wearing my contacts longer, I don't feel the strain really as much, if ever. So yeah, I kept wearing my glasses longer than my contacts. Silly me. So I think that was the issue all along. But I'm still going so they can still check them to see if everything's okay if my prescription didn't change. But yeah. Then I'm going to get my car serviced before that. Finally, I never did that. Shame on me. But I'm like, yeah, you know, if I can do it. A health checkup of my home my, myself why not my car too right like to get take care of that so I've been taking care of everything getting that all done oh lord and then I have a dentist the next after that month and I'm, oh my God. so I'm like appointment after appointment like phone call after phone call uh, yeah so I feel like a huge load weight has been lifted uh, this mercury retrograde has honestly been way better than I would have expected and then I read somewhere that it was actually like a retrograde of blessings. So I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like, not blessings, but like, well, kind of, but like setting the intention that, you know, you're gonna finally shift things. And so, like, so yeah, um, since December 13, like I've noticed too, like things have really been better. Like things have just been moving finally, you know, and it's like making progress where things were so stuck. So like as so many people came to me even with readings, stuck and I hope that you're unstuck now I hope that finally that has lifted off of you and you feel free you feel better you feel lighter so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. anyway so up oh, <laughs> let's switch back to autofocus so we have the ace of pentacles here and then we have the eight of pentacles so what are you receiving what did you ask and then you will receive you are open to this receiving, speaking of blessings, right? You are going to get, 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 okay? Did I not say 2024? This might as well be about next year. It doesn't have to be. I feel like it's more about now, but now is going into next year right now. Remember, I always said every year I say this at the end of the year to remind you, poopsies, pay attention to the month of December. It's always going to tell you what next year is going to be like. It's going to give you a sample. So what already happened this month is going to be a perfect example of what's going to go down in 2024. So if you're already feeling blessed and you're getting that bonus paycheck, honey, expect more to come through. Okay? Inez and others included. So let me tell you something. You're going to get abundance. <laughs> okay? You are going to get blessed. Um, you are going to receive. Finally, it's like, it's almost like you were able to this whole time, but you just didn't see it before but now that you see it you can claim it as yours the veil has been lifted and you are here right almost like someone looking up at the sky the veil's lifted you see it you claim it claim your prize 
because it's yours to take. The moon and then the three of pentacles. So many pentacles all around. Pentacle, 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 pentacle. All right. It's going to flood. Okay. Money, money, money. Um, But also I see just this overwhelming sense of inner knowing and confidence and again like inner inner standing right that you are truly setting yourself up for success here and that no one can play games with you anymore no one who tried to be sneaky and take behind your back from you no you know i heard the statistic the other day that actually um uh, businesses like sneaky employers that you can't trust take five times more from companies than someone actually just breaking a window and going in. Those you think in your circle are the ones actually take family asking for money, friends asking for money. Those are the biggest thieves. I'm sorry I said it. It's true. You got to worry about those thieves, not thief thieves, okay? You know what I'm saying. So... Because they know how much you have and they know what it's about and, and they take because they, they ask. All, all they have to do is ask. They don't got to smash nothing. They they just ask. They just got to smash that keyboard on their phone and ask you. That's how they ask. That's how they take. So who's taking from you? Who's taking even your time emotionally? Draining you. Oh my God. Like really getting you to feel so woefully sorry for them. So that you give them a couple bucks. And by a couple, I mean a couple hundred or a couple grand. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to pay that car bill. Oh, my God. Really? You asked me that three months ago. And that money, last time I checked, the very next day, you, you went off to a baseball game or something crazy, right? Like, you didn't even use that money for what you said you would have used it. Mm-hmm. So, when is your time to stop being so nice? When is your time? You don't have to cut this person off, but cut off the, the money supply. Four of, um, sorry, ten of wands, and then, um, gosh, uh, where was I? The four of swords, yes. Um, You have a lot to give, and in, I feel like in 2024, that's going to be expected of you. It's like you're getting these blessings, and others are going to ask you for blessings, to give them your blessings. That's literally what you're doing. You're just going to imagine you won the lotto, and all of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what this feels like. It's going to feel like you won the lottery, not literally, but like. Maybe some of you like, literally, <laughs> I hope so, you know. Don't forget about me if you did. Okay, no, no I'm just playing, I'm just playing. <laughs> but um, all I'm saying is to say that um, you're going to have to put that guard up, that shield, all right, that layer of protection around you like we did with Reiki, okay? Literally to say, you know what, what's mine is mine, what's yours is yours, what's meant for you is meant for you, what's meant for me is meant for me. If I'm supposed to receive this blessing, it's for me. If you're receiving a blessing, it's for you. If I choose to bless you, that's your blessing. If I don't choose to bless you, you ask me for that blessing, that's not your blessing. Poopsie even confirmed. So yeah, choose who to throw your pentacles of abundance at because not everyone's worth it the other day i learned this i already knew this but this really hit deep not everyone deserves your love yes we can throw our love abundantly out there but not foolishly not everyone deserves your love offering you gotta pick and choose nowadays because they're gonna take and take and take i always heard this growing up my mom used to always say you give them like I even dramatized it more. She used to say, only you give them the pinky, they'll take your whole arm. I say you give them the tip of the pinky's fingernail, they'll rip your whole arm out. That's how I say it, because I like being more dramatic. But um, it's true. It's true. They say Macedonian, like, 
tell you so cramily tell you to say that like they're going to rob you of a uh, blind like like they're going to take everything from you if you just give them a piece of bread a little even like a little crumb of a piece of bread by the way i was going to do a tarot reading in macedonian i'll get to it eventually I think that's going to be very fun and interesting. Like, oh, why? Tony, I don't understand you. Well, you you're still going to see the card, so you'll still understand sometime, some somewhat some things, right? Especially if you're familiar with tarot. But anyway, 10 of pentacles, 4 of pentacles. So, um, I see you holding on. I see you getting more stingy, maybe honestly a little more greedy, like really holding on to that. Holding on to that coin person saying, "You know what? I don't know." Shoot, some people might even say, "Can you lend me your purse?" Literally 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 like am i nordstrom wreck to you like the you know like oh my god the nerve the like don't they have some sense of pride at least no some people don't when it comes to money honestly even people that have, let me tell you something let me tell you something <laughs> Even people that have pride when it comes to asking for money, they still ask. There's no such thing as pride when it comes to asking for money. Even the most proud people, I'm telling you right now. It's hilarious. Um, this will be family. This will be family. And um, maybe a coworker who really trusts you. I don't know if I see friends. Because with friends, I don't know, it's easier to set a boundary with them. You just say no and off they go. They'll still be friends with you, but off they go. They're not going to ask you anymore. They get it. But family, oh, but remember, Ernesto, that one time I did this for you, honey. And you don't want to give your mother this. Oh, you hurt me. Break my heart. You see what I'm saying? Manipulation. All right. And coworker. Oh, well, huh? Oh, you don't want to lend me money. Well, huh? guess I'll tell the boss about that thing you did that one time 15 months ago. Mm hmm. So you almost have no choice. They blackmailed your butt, right? But, um, so this is why you'll be hesitant. This is why sometimes you have to pay someone off. I've done this before, <laughs> probably more than once. You got to pay someone off to shut up. Hey, don't tell mom I did this this one time. Here's a, I don't know, 10 bucks, right? You know, we've all done that growing up, right? Like, it's innocent, little sweet white life, but oh, maybe not all. Maybe I'm crazy. But anyway, um, King of Pentacles and then the Lovers. All right, so. You know why people pay for silence, for your silence? It's because it's, it's priceless. Everyone wants peace. That's why it's worth it to pay someone off, to say, shut up, don't tell anyone. Is it right? No, it's not right. It's actually pretty dark and wrong, but um, that's why people do it. It pays to stay silent. And then that person's hit the jackpot. They're like, oh, I got all this cash. All I have to do is shut my lip. Easiest 20,000 ever, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay. King... <laughs> these readings man i'm sorry I'm, I, I can't help but be dramatic okay that's my style sometimes um king of pentacles and then the lovers so you know what yes this uh, i don't see a lover thankfully so it's either family or coworker in this issue but it feels like we keep beating around the same subject because it's like it's something you have to keep going through okay even if you sell that house and you get so much money from it, they don't have to know, okay? That's one thing that should be kept quiet is like, really, no one should really know. Because when they know, it changes their perception of you. When they know your income, how you're doing, how much you have. Yeah, it, it, it really does. Even with friends, they, they all of a sudden look at you funny. They look at you different or with a side eye, like, oh, you have this and you can't pay for this drink for me. Like, mm-hmm. But when they don't know, it's better. There's peace, man. 
Silence. What did I say? Silence pays. Your silence pays so that you don't have to pay for someone's silence. Make sense? I'll make it make sense because it makes sense here. Okay. So, so I'm just teasing you, obviously. Um, so yeah, you're the granddaddy cash cow. Okay. And only thing I've seen about lovers, your lover are going to like it. Okay. Maybe they're the only one that knows your situation. You know, how you doing, how well you're doing, how well off you are going to be and currently are. So yeah. That's the only person that you should keep between because you love them. Don't ever hide your financial situation from your partner. Are you kidding me? Do you really love them then if you're hiding all that? Are you that deeply insecure about your situation where you can't tell your loving lover, partner, whatever? Talk to them. It's okay. That's one of the first things that they should know. Okay? And if that person isn't telling you honestly, maybe their credit sucks. Maybe they're in massive debt. Until you know, you don't know. So it's okay to assume that they're the worst possible situation if they're not willing to open that mouth. Sometimes it's because they have like millions of dollars and they really don't want to tell you. So you don't cash out on that insurance policy. <laughs> but um, yeah, if they're really insecure about it and hiding the books, yeah, some, there's a red flag. There's several red flags there, in fact. Alrighty, so I think I really went over that enough. Um, um, I just feel like we need to clear these cards, okay? I'm tired of looking at them. Alrighty, so we're going to continue tapping in and connecting. I'm just going to go with like this. Three by three by three. I don't want to do another spread. Just whatever feels right. So, six of wands here. The fool. And then the tower. I do see tower a lot for next year. So again, huge changes. Just because everyone's getting blessed. By everyone, I mean just half of people. Because um, everyone always has to have a crappy year. The other half has to have... You know, it's, it, it, it somehow always tends to balance itself out by half and half. Okay? So that's how I perceive our reality at least. Um... But a lot of people will have to go through the rough changes, the friction. I see a lot of friction, right? Um, like just really being pushed to their limit, okay? But it's survivable, but it's pushing change. It's almost like force is just changing everything. Change gets forced onto you because there were some things, some factors ignored and it's like it has to be in your face all of a sudden and what you used to do for fun or have fun with may no longer even be there or available. Maybe that location closes down. Um, I almost see like tectonic plates, like literally, I hope it's not like a little, like literally like a lot of earthquake or a big one that really affects things, but it, it it's, it's more like describing the friction, like how they rub against each other and, you know, they slip and when they slip, that's what causes the shaking motion. And I don't even think we really understand how that works to this day, because how could we really know? Like people just assume, you know, science is just assumptions. What, they sent sonar and they know, like, what's down there? No, you don't know, right? You know, we have to have an open mind at this point. And, but from what we're raised to believe, taught and told, um, this is the best way I can describe to you what that looks like to me, realistically, or from what, like, mental impressions, downloads, like, physical pressure exerted and also on your life. Like, this applies to your life, not an actual, like, physical thing okay um <sighs> give me a second it's almost like you're like what else is next I think there's 
something new every day like a constant like busyness constant i see a lot of souls busy i see a lot of souls active because oh, again a lot of workplaces business companies are going to be very successful and flourishing and and it's going to just be work 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 but then it's like some things could also take you away from that so don't just get so trapped in that that that's all you do that year and you didn't enjoy the year right because that'll leave you staring at a wall for 15 minutes right like just pondering about your life like where did it go left where did i go wrong why am i here why did i get myself into this because it's just you're gonna loop yourself there you know you know how many people just work 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 all their life and then they're like wow i'm literally old now and i cannot get that time back and all i did was work for what to build something for my older self when i could have enjoyed earlier and now my burnt bones hurt What's the point? So get the bigger picture here. Finally, it's like you're finally going to see the bigger picture that may, maybe that's not going to be worth it anymore. Maybe I shouldn't go down this cycle that others, billions of others have went down and made the same mistake and looked back on their life and said, crap, you can't for, it's like when that's gone, you can't even forgive yourself for that. You, you, because you can't go back. So, where are you heading? Focus on where you're heading. Things will make sense. Have a direction. Have a plan. And don't just allow the happenings of 2024 or, or maybe I need to wait for 2025 right that's always an excuse like if we fail at our goals by like June we're like oh we'll just maybe it's just the bad year we're just gonna let the other year pass and just maybe, maybe I'll have better luck next year right? better luck next time and then again you can't get that time back you had six months to improve things and you didn't you just let next year come and then again next year you do the same thing and it's never the right time you know, so make time, make time for what years, what was that noise? Make time for what sounded like a dang wolf outside. Make time for what, um, you keep pushing back. You keep holding yourself back from a lot. I feel the devil. Speaking of wolf, wolf in sheep's clothing, this MF or devil. Ten of Swords, we've all had our experience with that devil. Ten of Cups, so something intense, really profound energy here. I, th I see a lot of new life, new baby, first time mothers, or you know, second child. I see a lot of second children, especially. Not your first time around the block, right? You know how to deal with it. That kind of energy is like, you're done. Your experience 10 is the ending, right? It's just like it's over. 10 also portrays like the, the, the 10 months, the baby cooks in the oven, so to speak. So um, it's going to be full term for a lot of you who are worried about, you know, that child. Or if in, in, in Inez's case, if you're not pregnant, then you're going to hear about this, obviously. Um, Like, oh, I haven't heard of that person in a while. And all of a sudden I see they're pregnant. Like, you know, it's just going to be like, or they just had a baby and like, they didn't tell me. And it's like, oh, you know, maybe some of you take it personally that, you know, they kept things private. But a lot of people do that, you know, there's even a superstition in my culture that you shouldn't ever take the baby outside for six months or shine a mirror in its face or like show it to people like really like over picture or video, like, cause that's like a curse. You're going to curse the child or, you know, you're going to like not bless their face or their appearance and their visage right like it, it's a it's to protect the child and some people are really super protective about their children like mama cougar papa bear like they are gonna pounce on you if you even try something funny with their kid you know i think every parent's like that but some parents don't, they're not like, no, no pictures. No, you are not going to see my baby's face outside. Like, that's why they even cover their head. They cover the baby. They, they don't want, they protect the child at all costs with a blanket. You know, like, no, you know, 
I don't like that because it's like, oh my God, what if they can't breathe under there for goodness sake? But I don't like when they always, you know, but anyway, that's why I don't even cover my dog's snout with a blanket, like just up to his neck. That's it. Like I'm super paranoid about like, oh, you got to be able to breathe. You can't breathe under all that. But anyway, even though you still can, it's just ugh, apparent anyway. So, um, so, um, yeah, I see here that, um, there will be some forces trying to stop you from getting that which you're getting finally. Finally getting there. It's like you're getting there and then something's just going to be thrown your way like some huge, like, it's going to try. It's not going to work. It's not going to succeed. But this huge, like, almost, you think, oh my God, this is such a misfortune. But then it actually works. I don't know. I see a lot of that too next year. Like, it actually works, Okay. This misfortune actually is fired back and actually works for you, if that makes sense. Like you you use it to your advantage for a gain, a win, or, or something to get better, uh, to, to propel you in life further down the line. Um, I like saying a lion because that's so linear, but, you know, we're not limited beings. We're just limited in this earth, but we're more like a really like a circle, right? 2D is a line. 1D is a point. 3D is a circle. Because we just keep looping here. Reincarnation. 4D. I look at it more kind of like, in a weird way, I think like a triangle. Even though you could argue 3D is a triangle. But anyway, that's besides the point. Because um, it starts taking a different form. It, it starts really experiencing different or i would say maybe a square because like four sides right in a sense i don't know but oh my my impression is a triangle for some reason but like a a triangle that's like three-dimensional that's my spiritual impression of it you know like you know a, a cube is like a square that's three-dimensional, a triangle that's three-dimensional. Like, that's kind of what I envision it as. But anyway, you'll overcome. So don't lose hope. Things are going to be good and bad for a lot of others next year. You get over the bad by focusing on the good, the blessings. Don't hold yourself back. Don't... Doubt yourself, your abilities. Keep going, okay? It's not going to be bad for everyone. No, 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 no. In fact, it's going to be more good than bad, again, collectively, because it's not about us. Collectively, where are we heading eventually? It's good. It's inherently good. The hanged man in reverse. So some people just can't take it. Some people can't make it to the other side, right? Some people just cannot see themselves in 2025, 2030, 2035. They are just so stuck and almost like in an ironic way programmed, right? As a lot of people have like this cult mentality that we're all doomed in a few years. And it's like, well, are we? We made it this far. And we People have always been saying we have been and we've never been doomed, right? So you're only doomed if you think that way. You know, so where are you holding yourself back to where you are not pushing your limits, pushing the bounds of your belief system? Start believing differently. Start having more faith. Stop listening to, we're doomed. We're not. I used to be that guy. And I'm like, well, even if we are, let's say even if we are, right? And... Is there really something we can do about it as a collective? As one, I mean. No. And the collective, 100% of people will never believe or think or experience your existence the way you do. So is there really something that can be done? No. No. What's meant to happen is in God's hands. But you're responsible for your life and what you choose to believe. Page of Cups. Do you want a crappy experience or not? Short, sweet, and simple. What are you going to experience? Are you willing to let go of that feeling, that old feeling that 
prevents you from experiencing life with happiness, with more abundance, with more jump to your step. That's on you. That's up to you. Your creation. This is your existence to do what you will with it. When you're bored, you can move on to other shapes and formations of life. Maybe 5D is like a pentagon that's multidimensional. It doesn't have just one 3D form. It has like a 4D in a 4D form. <laughs> At that point, I don't even think shapes matter. <laughs> right? Death. Death of the old. Short, sweet, and simple. We're ending on that note. Things are not going to be the same from here on out. If the reason it's such a hyped up big year is because everything's in 12s. 12 hands on a clock. 12 months of the year. I could go on for an eternity. Since two, the year 2000, what have we been dividing things into 12? 2012 was that big Mayan year. Some say it's actually next year because we're behind 12 years on the Gregorian calendar. That's another story. I won't go into that speculation. But it's another 12. It's another big year. What happened in 2012, right? Me. That was the last year of high school. I started my ASMR channel the first time. And it was a big year. It was when things really shifted and finally changed. I, I got out of my depression after two, two and a half years of having it. So what's that going to be like for you? Things started finally lifting, getting better. I went on vacation that year, you know, like things will finally get better. Okay, I believe we also had to move, right? Shortly after that, the next year, things will really change. And we've been living there seven in, seven years at that time, right? So I turned 18 years old, finally of age, right? Like that's huge changes. This is what I'm seeing. It's another 12. Things end in 12s. And new beginnings will come. Temperance. Have patience though. Things will still gradually change. Everyone's always expecting this huge overnight miracle. This huge overnight success. Honey, let me tell you from experience. Ain't no such thing as overnight. Because you got to be patient. And it comes day by day. You know. Um, Nicki Minaj didn't become Nicki Minaj overnight. Like, you know, that gradual. Gradual. So, if you can't be patient with yourself, no one's going to be patient with you. If you cannot be patient with yourself, no one is going to be patient with you. And you won't be able to be patient with others, quite frankly, okay? Where are you shifting things? Where are you changing your energy? Set the intention for 2024 that things will finally change and better change will introduce itself to you. And you're not having this old change anymore. You say the universe. It's happening whether you say it or not. I'm done. I laid out all the cards. I've put in all the effort. I've did everything I could. Now is my time. This is what this is like. My time to shine. I've waited 24 years for this crap. And this better come. It didn't come what I thought would have come in 2012. It's coming now. A double 12 year, okay? We only have one of these. All right. So, um, and it's the year of eight. So eight is really abundance, like I said. So, um, a lot of money coming in. Oh, that was actually the year too. I started first getting my own paychecks. Really, like. It was the year before that, like, but it was like the butt end of that year. So it's like basically 2012, right? So it's like really, and I think about it, a lot changed. A lot changed. I think I even got new pets that year. Oh my God, like so much. Now I think about it. So I'm really like, think about what happened in you, with you in 2012. Set the intention. Most likely you're going to say in the comments, a lot of similarities will happen to me, happen to you too. Because guess what? We're a collective I'm not surprised. It's not because I'm some miraculous psychic. It's because we're a collective. It's really not that hard. 
All you need is some numerology, some astrological symbols, and you can predict anyone's life. I'm not good at that stuff, so I just more tap in. But, um, yeah, because everything's encoded in this, what they call a matrix of life. We're in it whether you like it or not, and it just is. You chose to come here. You made the decision. I'm going to experience this virtual reality. This shape reality. <laughs> anyway, so I think that's the message. It's beautiful messages. Thank you. God bless. Love and light. Make sure you use that 25 code until December 23rd. It's a limited time coupon code. Offer Tony25 for 25% off all my services. Unlimited use. You can use it anytime, any day, up to the 23rd. On any service, multiple times in one day. Oh my God, you can use that coupon code for anything. I don't limit it one. It's not like one use per person. It's not one use per service. No, it's unlimited. Limitless. Okay. So thank you for allowing me to channel today this tarot reading and this Reiki healing for you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. TonyBombardi.com. Link below. I love you all so much. And I will see you. Yes, you. In the next one. Bye.